So when I've mentioned before that Saturn square Neptune is going to cause either some sort of smoke screen or some sort of intentional diversion away from what's really going on in current events. I look no further than some of the ridiculous headlines sometimes. I don't even watch any kind of news anymore. And even in certain certain things, I think RT just glazes over quite a bit that even though they're the most reliable and objective news source, I still think that they're just missing a lot. A lot of people are just acting a little bit like they have psychosis or some sort of delusional disorder, which is caused by the opposition with Jupiter and Neptune. So I'm going to read this. It says, it's a pull from the O'Reilly factor, which obviously most people would stereotype the O'Reilly factor and Fox as being uh, a narrative that's completely delusional and biased, but I think the playing field's kind of even at this point with both sides. And it says, a pool of Muslims. So here is what the question was. I believe that violence against those that insult the Prophet Muhammad, the Quran, or Islamic faith is sometimes acceptable. Well, if you've read the Quran, it says that if anyone ever insults the Prophet or criticizes the Quran or any of the Islamic teachings like Sharia, that there there's a, a punish, punishment by death normally. Um, there might be certain places that are fighting with a secular state and a Sharia taking up half and half of the country and they might just beat the hell out of them. But they would prefer to kill them. So when it says it's that violence against, they believe that violence against those who insult anything that has to do with Islam is sometimes the same. Each of us the agreed today, percentage was 29%. The disagree was 61%. Now that makes it look like soldiers, there's a small minority that would be quote unquote radicals in that scenario. But if you look at the subliminal messaging and the way it was worded, sometimes acceptable, sometimes acceptable is not in the Quran. It is always the law, the Sharia law, to act out and punish those who insult Islam. So the 61% that disagree, they disagree not because they disagree that it's sometimes acceptable, but that it's always mandatory. That it's, it's always acceptable. And that is how the narrative and how the different psychological things are going on to warp and brainwash you all. Just thought I'd give you an example right there.